good everybody my name is Jay Fatty welcome back to another video today we're gonna talk about this plugin that lets you collab with anybody anywhere in the world regardless of location and regardless of duh okay it's called satellite sessions the links down in the description to download that go ahead and get it it is mega sauce it's free it's by mixed in key and I'm telling you, I vouch for this plugin. I've used it to make over 70 beats with my homies. And I'm not even fucking kidding when I say that. It is legit insane. So I'm going to show you a little bit on how it works inside FL Studio. Okay, so this is a beat I made with the homie ISO. I'm going to link him down in the description as well. Go check him out. He is mega dope. All right. So when you install it, um, it comes with three different things. It comes with a VST which is just called Satellite Sessions, and that acts as your main hub. We're going to talk about that more in a second. Then it comes with two effects. One is called Satellite Audio. The other is called Satellite MIDI, okay? So let me just kind of go over this. When I open up the hub of Satellite Sessions, this is where the meat's at, okay? This is where you're going to be putting in the stems for all of the people in the session to um, get it, okay? It kind of acts a little bit like uh, Google Drive, if you're familiar with that. So... The way you do it is you go up here and you do invite, you put in someone's email, and then it sends them a code. And then let's just let's just let's just delete this real quick. You can kind of see what the initial part of it looks like. So this is what it looks like when you first load up satellite sessions. It's got to create a new session, join session, and then it's got your session dashboard. Okay. So creating a new session, you would be the, the main host of that session. Join a session is where you would put in that code that someone had emailed it to you via the invite section and then session dashboard lets you go to your old sessions. So if we go ahead and join this one right now, it's going to first tell us to set our DAW to the required tempo. So we'll do that right now. Okay. And once it does, it unlocks it there. And as you can see, this has all of the stems because this is already a session we've done. It has all of the stems in here. We're gonna talk about how to add the stems in in a second, but when you have a stem in here, all you gotta do is left click on the little arrow and you can drag it right into your session. That is why it's so mega sauce, okay? So let's talk about how we wanna add something. So let me just throw in this sample here. Okay. Don't gotta stretch it out right now, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna use this as an example. I would route this to a mixer track, so we'll just put it on mixer track four, and then inside the mixer track, over on the inserts, I'd put in satellite audio, which is one of the effects that it comes with, okay? As you can see here. Now, this isn't a tutorial on how to install VSTs. If you need to know that, you can look that up. I'll actually do one of those um, here in an upcoming video. Okay, so when we go to satellite audio, it's going to put in something like this. We can name our stem. We'll just call this sauce. All right. And we want to make sure the capture audio is on. We can close the satellite audio. Be careful. Don't open it again. Because if you do, there's some bug with satellite sessions where it crashes the whole um, thing. So just leave it closed and you can do the rest of stuff that you need inside the hub. As you can see, it added a new stem here called sauce. This button right here is how you arm it to record in the session. Let me mute all these other things. That way we don't hear it right now. Okay, now we're going to arm this. And then in the actual playlist, I'm just going to drag out a little bit of a, you know, tail end here. That way it doesn't loop back on itself. And then we just hit play. And then I'm going to pull up satellite sessions and you'll see it recording in there. then we can hit stop it's going to upload it to the main hub and there you go the what i just recorded is in there because i have that it's essentially just monitoring the the mixer with that whatever the the element is routed to and just recording that right into the session now say the homie iso he would be able to go in here and just drag this into his daw it doesn't matter what daw you're in it works on pretty much all the daws out there so it's so amazing for collaborating and 
you know, working with other producers and not just producers. You can work with other vote, like you can work with rappers, you can work with singers, anybody that has a DAW or a workstation, a digital area workstation is what DAW means. They'd be able to use this plugin. So it's so powerful. Okay. Now you can also pretty much do the same process for MIDI if you wanted to send MIDI through. But yeah, as you can see, that's very powerful. So don't sleep on satellite sessions. All right. Like I said, it's going to be linked down in the description. Use it to collaborate and, you know, really make some sauce with other producers around the world, other musicians, other creatives. Like I said, it doesn't just have to be producers. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you want, if you want to know more or if I didn't explain things the best, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know. And yeah, make sure you check this out and make sure you check out the homie ISO. Links are all in the description. All right, much love, y'all. Peace.